Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease as part of the array series. Today we are going to solve this question called Wave Array. So in this what we have to do is, it's given that the element should be arranged or rather rearranged in a sequence in which it will be the first element is going to be greater than or equal to the second element. The second element is going to be lesser than or equal to the next element. So how does a wave look? We talk of a wave, a wave looks like this. There's a high, there's a low, there's a high, there's a low. So something similar we have been asked to do. Hi, here's a brief introduction for the ones who are new to the channel. The objective of Code with Ease is to make problem solving in programming simpler. If you are someone who wants to become a great developer and wants to level up their skills, data structures and algorithms is indispensable and you need to form a solid foundation of that. And this is exactly where we come in. Because we post topic-wise video explanations in Java on various coding interview questions that can not only help to crack the coding interview, but also help to improve and refine the problem-solving abilities as a developer. And finally, here is the USB of our channel. We code every solution live. We do not copy-paste code snippets. We start off by clearly defining the problem statement, the given inputs, the required output, time and space complexities. We also then discuss the brute force way of solving any question without jumping on to the solution and then gradually move on to the optimal solution. We try to use online whiteboarding wherever applicable to explain the approach and the concepts. So that is all about us. So if you guys also want to be a part of this journey, do support us by subscribing to the channel. So with that, now let's get back to the question. So what we have to do is we are given these elements. Let's say one, two, three, four, and five. The requirement is this element should be greater than the next element. Since it is sorted and it is sorted in ascending order, this element, if it has to be greater than this element, means basically we can say we can put 2 and 1. Now, this second element again has to be lesser than this, which is fine. So, we can say uh, 2 and 1 we have swept, so we will keep 3 as is. But this 3 again has to be greater than or equal to the next, which means we have to, instead of Having 3, 4, we have to make this 4 and 3. So this is this is what we are trying to do. And we are trying to make sure that this is greater than this and this is lesser than. This is greater, this is less. That's the entire logic. Greater than lesser. Some element here. This element is greater, this element is lesser. Greater and then lesser. So this is the sequence that we have to follow. Well, before we move on further, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the notifications. Continue watching the video till the very end and if you find it useful, please hit the like button so that others can also get the benefit out of this. So, let's continue. Now, let's discuss the approach to solve this. So, like we discussed in that, we have these are the array elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what do we want? We want this element, the first element to be greater than or equal to the next element and this element should be lesser than or equal to the next element and then again this and then again this so if we notice if if we already know the array is in sorted order it is in sorted in increasing order so in that what we can see that if we want okay firstly if it is an increasing order means every element will be lesser than or equal to the next element like one is lesser than two 2 is lesser than 3 like that because it is an increasing order. If that is so, we have to, what is our first requirement is we have to make the first, the first two elements, let's say, we have to make these two should be greater than or equal to each other. Means basically we have to swap. So 2 should be here and 1 should be coming over here. Then our, this condition is satisfied. Now, if you look at the second thing, second thing is first, okay, greater than or equal to is done, okay. Next is we have to make sure that the second and the third element should be lesser than or equal to which is anyway going to be true because our array is in increasing order. Every element is anyway lesser than the next element of the adjacent element. So we need not worry about this check at all. We should only be worried about the greater than equal to check because our elements are sorted in increasing order. So this forms a pattern. What's the pattern? That if we are able to swap alternate elements like this, like 1, then 3 and 5 and so on, if you are able to swap those, then we can get our desired output. Like in this case, we have swapped 1 and 2, we got 2 and 1. Now we'll ignore this element, we'll go to 3. So we'll swap 3 and 4. So we'll if we swap 3 and 4, we will get 4 and 3. Again, we'll ignore this element. So basically, we are trying to swap the elements which are at the even positions. Because it starts with 0, 1, 2 and like that. So if we are able to do that, in case the array is sorted in increasing order, we will be able to form the wave array. If the array is not sorted in increasing order, then the logic will become a bit different. 
because if the array is not already sorted then we have to make sure that the elements at the even positions should be greater than the elements at the odd positions which is anyway happening over here these are the even positions element like 0 then we have this so this is 0 this is 2 this is 4 so elements in the even position are anyway greater than odd position so this we are able to do by simply swapping in case of an array which is already sorted if the array was not sorted if the array was unsorted we had to explicitly do this check by doing this you know by doing this if condition check every time whether the element at the even position is it greater than the number at the odd position means the next element or not if it is not then we have to do the necessary swapping but in the question that we are solving on the GFG practice portal in that we are already given that it is a sorted array because it is already given uh, it's a sorted array it becomes a bit simpler we are saving ourselves from doing that uh, explicit if condition check so that's the entire logic for this the approach is as simple as swapping alternate elements swapping alternate elements again I will reiterate that this we are able to do because the array is in sorted order if it was unsorted then we have to do an explicit check of even position odd position and whether it is greater or lesser accordingly so that is about this approach for the wave array now let's see uh, the code for this okay so we we'll start with the code changes so first of all we'll have this for loop to traverse this array i less than n plus plus so like we discussed uh, okay so it should not be plus plus it should be plus equal to two because we are skipping one element in between and we are going alternate checking for alternate elements so in this we just have to do the swapping logic so in order to do the so how do we swap this a of i and then a of i should contain a of i plus one and a of i plus one should be containing the ten Styling. We are just swapping the adjacent elements and we are doing it for by skipping one one element in between. We don't have to return anything, we are just doing it in place. So, yeah, that's about this. So, let's try to compile and run. Index out of bounds. Let's do like this. Yeah, because we are doing i plus one. So, just to make sure doesn't go out of bounds we are just doing it for till the second last element instead of going to the last element okay. so yeah that is all about this question wave array uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far do let us know in the comments below if you guys have any questions or doubts or you want to share any feedback on this video if you have enjoyed the session so far do hit the like button so that this can reach out to many more people and if it does it just gives us enough motivation to put out more such content also if you are looking forward to more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon next to the subscribe button to never miss an update on our upcoming videos thank you so much for watching